my comedy thing is well it varies but it's five laughs and upwards and at least you're in the right ballpark and I have to say that rule was passed but only just significantly almost every time I laughed I laughed at Simon Pegg doing something that looked like it was not only that he was doing it but also that he'd written it I mean it looks for all the world like a film that kind of began life as an you know as an American screenplay which I think it did that's then somehow been transplanted to London in order to get in Simon Pegg who I would get Simon Pegg into anything because I think he's a really funny bloke and then Simon Pegg, who, who takes a, a co-writing credit on it, has done a, a substantial amount of work from what appears to be on screen. And what you have is a movie which itself is pretty much all over the place and pretty much, you know, like it's a story about a guy who has to run a marathon to prove he loves a girl and it ends exactly as you would think it does. And yet along the way you get the, the moments of Simon Pegg interaction. I mean, it's not without charm. It's just it, all the charm that it has is very, very little to do with the actual meat of the film itself. So why on earth, one asks, is, is, I mean, everyone must have seen the posters. There is a quote on the poster which says, at last, the comedy of the year, simply perfect, go now. Somebody, Neil Sean on Sky News. So I'm thinking, who is Neil Sean? And how, I mean, how can anybody really have said that, really meaning it? Anyway, so I looked this guy up because I hadn't heard of him. And according to entertainmentnews.co.uk, Neil is the most read, most watched and most listened to showbiz reporter in the world. So I looked him up on I Wikipedia and they hadn't, they hadn't heard of him either. You heard of him? Nope. No, well, they hadn't heard of him either. Nope. And I found his, his website in which he describes himself as a presenter, journalist, gossip guru and global showbiz king. But crucially, right, not critic. Because, I mean, that's, you know, look at that thing. It's like, at last. What do you mean at last? I mean, it's September now. You must have said it in August. That's only seven months into the year. At last, the comedy of the year. You can't say at last, the comedy of the year in August. You've still got half the year to go. Well, you've only been waiting since the beginning of the year. It's not possible to wait since before January to get to August for the best comedy of the year. Then, comedy of the year. Well, if that's true, then we really are in a terrible state. Simply perfect. Perfect. Mary Poppins is perfect. Citizen Kane's perfect. You know, The Exorcist's perfect. I mean, Run, Fat Boy, Run has its moments, but perfect... What planet are you on? And so you come to a number of conclusions, which is either you haven't seen the film, you haven't seen any other films, you didn't really say it, or you're not really a critic that should be quoted in such huge letters on the poster. Do and other critics I, annoy you? I'll tell you what really annoys me more and more is massive, I mean, not other critics, is massive quotes on the poster which say, the best thing I have ever seen in my entire life. And then in tiny letters, Neil Smidgen. Gloucester FM, or actually Neil Smidgen, Ohio FM and cattle farming radio. It's because all that happens as people drive past is they see something with big quotation marks around it. They imagine that it's been said by somebody who has got a right to tell you whether these things are. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. I know I sound annoyed about this, but believe me. You, what you reckon? Even the people involved in it. If you got Simon Pegg in, right? We did I mean, yesterday. I like yeah. Simon. You got Simon Pegg said, yeah. Simon, do you think Run Fat Boy Run is perfect? Uh, even Simon Pegg would have to say, Clearly no, not. no, I mean, yeah, it is not perfect. And at last, what do you mean at last? Okay. It, at last, it's not even grammatical. Some, some